Chewy. Only Chewy. Go get the cows in there. Quite a fair way down the back today. Not too much planned. It is a Sunday, so nice, relaxing one. Kanker will be here at 8 o'clock, so we gotta go. We gotta get a move. Hey, good morning, ladies. Letting them go. It's just gone at half past five, so I'm a little bit later this morning, but that's right. Yeah. All right. These girls, the cash here, get them milked. I was just checking the drains, so nothing in the drains, that's good. Just looks better. You see a slight fog rolling over. Yeah. In our way to the front now. Yeah. Pretty easy. That was where they were last night, and this is where they're going tonight. Straight across the race. Yeah. Again, another far paddock. Yeah, I want to know how fast Chewy can run. He's about 30k. Sprayed all them down there. Just, just spray this one down. Spray that one down there. So. Yeah, last. Yeah, it's just down here washing the yard. Here he is. Thick today. Oh, going out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you, you take two of one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You push in front of the cow that you fight you all the time, didn't you? That's Elvis. Morning. Yeah, sun's coming through the fog. Beautiful morning. Have a good one. All right, and uh, Dad's just caught our limpy girl there. She's going back out in the paddock. The other one, uh, yeah, she'll be all right. She's not um, walking too bad. So we're good. With that, we'll keep washing up, ain't you? Dad's <laughs> just been. I didn't get him on camera. Oh, well, we'll start to agitate it. 
We'll give her a wash now. A rock for holding it. What do we send today? 5,646. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's get this washed. Get all the froth out and wash her up. Chewy, you like milk? Good puppy. Good puppy. Alright, just gonna wash a bit and um, I'll go feed little calves by the house. Yeah, feed the calves. Feed McKenzie. Bye. Bye. And Dallas is on the farm. Nanny's going shopping, so McKenzie's going with yeah, her. Yeah, she's with, with Granddad, eh? Granddad's little man's going working. Just all hard. What's you today? Feeding the calves with you, Dallas? Go right. Yeah. Yep. She has a little dinosaur hat. Yeah? They are, aren't they? They are getting bigger, the panties are. Right, let's go give them some meal. They'll head into the shed now. Go eat some meal. Things are done. Good suckies. Go. And they'll go for meal too. See, there they go. Go for the meal. Those ones won't be far behind. You ready, Dallas? Yeah. Go get some. Go get some meal for the carvies down the farm, shall we? Yeah, we're off to go and uh, cows out. We put them in a crop paddock because it's not got much grass in it, but um, they needed to graze that off. So we can spray it out tomorrow. Monday? Yeah. Uh, so where are these going, Granddad? Right in here. Okay. Hey, soul sister. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. There they go. Going in. See him come through now. In a hurry. Right, we'll go feed the calves. And then we'll come back and go lock them away. The calf has gotten bigger, Dallas. Lots bigger. <laughs> you can tell which ones don't really eat the meal. See that one there? It's a bit smaller. 62 doesn't really eat the meal. The cows are looking good. Let's go to lock the cows away and um, that'll be us today. Like all the girls shifted themselves nicely. Granddad and Dallas and Arrow are gonna go and check for the just check, make sure everyone is shifted out. And there's Chewy, he's <laughs> happy. He's pretty pooped it out. Been a big morning for the little fella. With that, I'll see you all at Milking tonight. Good afternoon, everybody. So I have already washed the vat. I'm just putting a quick rinse cycle through. It's been not a hot day, but a relatively warm one. So, cool the vet down a little bit before we start milking it. It doesn't hurt, I mean, it probably drops it a good five or six degrees. So, even a little bit helps. That should be enough. All right, that dad's getting the cows in. They're already about halfway down the race now. You know, it's a beautiful Sunday, relaxing. But we'll all go tomorrow, we are cropping. From tomorrow, we're gonna spray out our five paddocks we gotta do. And we're gonna, then Tuesday, we're gonna go through and rip them. Uh, Dan will be, while I'm spraying out, he'll be in the digger, cleaning drain banks, pulling all the banks off. And then I'll hop in the tractor, the big girl, and chuck on the uh, leveling bar and pull those all along. And then Tuesday, we are going to be ripping, put on the big pan raiser rata pan raiser and um go and rip up those paddocks then on wednesday as the plan will be rotary hoeing for hopefully the maize to be planted wednesday or thursday we'll see how we go um it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun week right let's uh get to milking eh? while the girls are coming i'll just tell you so we won't be milking here tonight 
she can generally get away with milking lame cows once a day because um, they just aren't producing as much milk as they usually would due to them um, being sore feet they'll sit down more often they won't eat as much grass as they usually will won't produce as much milk so that's the main reason why you can go and actually only milk the lame girls once a day that's why we only milk them once a day um, so the other girl she's back in the herd That's just pushing them up out there. And uh, they look like they're in a rush to get to the cow shed. <laughs> yep, beautiful day. It's been a stunning day. This is what we'll get some good growth out of this. Come on, ladies. Hop, hop. Come on. Hop. Hey. Come on. Oh, she doesn't like being at the front, but it'll be all right. Come on. Hop, hop. Come hop. on, Grandma. She is not the oldest, but one of the oldest in the herd. She's uh, one year off the oldest. She will be the oldest next year. She is a, what we call a super cow. She's 12 years old and still doing last her test, 2.3 milk solids. And her um, last year production was 500 and something. It'll come up there, but jeepers. She's a super cow. 12 years old and still going strong. Oh, girl. Numerous, numerous calves that have come through the shed too. All right. Carry on. She's ready to turn it on. She's down to 6.7. Awesome. She's putting the uh, acid through. Yeah, she's waiting for Uncle Chris. Uncle Chris is here. Uncle Chris is down there washing that part of the yard. <laughs> two brothers. Yeah, she's got her. Last two rows. Last two rows walking down together. Oh, good. All right. Beautiful day, guys. Awesome. All right, we'll let she go. Another successful walking. We're going down the farm here. Old Chris wants to uh, drop off a load of dirt into the paddock that we're going to be cropping first. He's got a load of dirt because he has been uh, shoveling out a bit of an area that he's going to concrete. So. Nice top the paddock. And on the way down, we are going to be changing over here again. Got to get on the uh, one that's in uh, this paddock over here. Nice dirt. Yeah. Uh, changed over. The irrigator's engaged. We're ready. There you go. Quick unload. Why well, shovel it when we pull it off with the digger? Line her up. Hey, Chris, got your wakato. 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 What's the whiskey then? Oh, hang on, he's missed the deck altogether. Yeah, a little bit off. A little bit off. Rearrange it. That's a quick unload. <laughs> Gentle as. Jeez. That's it. Done and dusted. Too easy. Didn't leave anything on there, old Chris. Go in there and have a look.
kilometers before uh, let's just go. We did 178,500 liters of milk sent last month, and that equates to 15,392 milk solids. It's not too bad. Not a farm record. We're about a thousand off our farm record, but still, it's a pretty good month, especially after the uh, crappy start we had for October. With that, I'll see you all in the morning.